This is really possible. We will keep that option open. It also depends on what happens with Martial. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch again on Jadon Sancho, Dan Ashworth and what's going on at Manchester United and also the situation of Timo Werner. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today's episode by mentioning something on Manchester United with Aro Wan Bissaka who is extending the contract for one more year. So my United will trigger, as expected, the option in the contract of Wan Bissaka. The current deal was expiring in 2024. This one will expire in 2025. So one more season for Wan Bissaka. One more season for Lindelof. The same is expected for Hannibal. So my United strategy looks very clear on that. And meanwhile, it's important to say that sources confirm the big and huge appreciation of people Latinos for Ben Ashworth, the director of Newcastle. He's really appreciated. He's considered one of the candidates for the structure Ineos want to build at Manchester United. So for sure, he's one, one of the names they have in the list. We also know about Paul Mitchell, many people being considered and Ineos deciding on the structure they want to build at Manchester United. Sergio Ratcliffe was at Carrington in the last 24 hours to have discussions with people at the club, to have the initial discussions also with Eric Ten Hag. So they are building their idea of Manchester United. Dan Ashworth is really appreciated, but it doesn't mean that he's guaranteed that he's going to join Major United because at the moment Newcastle are still denying this possibility, insist on the idea to continue with Dan Ashworth as part of their project, but the interest from Man United is real, so is Dan Ashworth the one who will decide? At the moment he's understood to be happy at Newcastle, to be very happy with the project there, very focused on Newcastle, but let's see what Ineos will decide to do because the appreciation is real and concrete and it's also real and uh, concrete, the possibility of Manchester United going to sign a new striker in January. I always told you about that because Man United are looking for opportunities, are speaking to agents of players in that position. So Man United could sign a new centre back in January, a new centre striker in January. This is really possible. We will keep that option open. It also depends on what happens with Martial. Martial will not extend the contract at Man United for one more season. So he's leaving, but we have to see if he leaves in the summer as free agent or now in January with an opportunity. So keep an eye on Martial. Timo Werner, and we already said that in December, remains one of the options. Timo Werner, Chupo Moting, Malen, many players who were discussed by Manchester United in terms of discussions with their agents. These are all options. Timo Werner could still be a possibility, he's appreciated by people at Man United, so Werner could be one of the names. Chupo Moting is another opportunity. They are discussing with the agents, but still not something clear on club to club side. So let's see what happens there, but for sure. Man United working hard on different possibilities in case Martial leaves the club. And then guys, Jadon Sancho. Let me mention today after the news yesterday that Jadon Sancho wants to go to Borussia Dortmund in a very strong way. We already said that yesterday and we kept saying that now. Sancho is pushing to go to Dortmund now, as soon as possible, in the next days, not at the end of the January transfer window. Sancho wants to go immediately. He's pushing. He's telling May United that he wants to go there. May United are advancing in a negotiation with Borussia Dortmund. Loan deal. Now the discussion is on salary coverage because May United will have to cover part of the salary. Dortmund can't pay the whole salary and also loan fee. These are the two points being discussed. At the moment, there is absolutely still no guarantee on a buy option clause included in the deal. Could be a simple loan for Jadon Sancho. Let's see what happens in the negotiation, so let's keep that open. But at the moment, the guarantee of a buy option is still not there. It means that Sancho could spend six months at Borussia Dortmund and then potentially return to May United and decide in the summer what they want to do with Sancho, as they have to decide on Greenwood and also on other players. But at the moment, the focus is on getting the loan deal done. The buy option is still not being discussed. Let's see how the conversation will discuss. Let's see if Dortmund will ask for that. But at the moment, it's not guaranteed a buy option into the deal. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Werner to Dan Oshworth to Juan Bissaka to Jadon Sancho, obviously. Hit in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.